All right, weather report time. On vacation last week, some thunderbolts and lightning, as well as some rain last Thursday as we were enjoying a Bishop Country Club. Let's go to the weather map, see what we've got this week. Sarah Wave Media's Dennis Mattinson notes that Tuesday, a little moisture from Hurricane Blanca will move northeast up through Baja and reach central California later in the day. And that above low will move onshore about the same time and pick up some of Blanca's moisture. This should produce a 20 to 30 percent chance of widespread thunderstorms through Thursday a little cooler than as well. Low tonight into tomorrow for Mammoth 47 degrees Bishop and the Owens Valley right around 57 degrees for Mammoth June Mono County on Tuesday. We'll call it about a 20% chance some rain and thunderstorm by the afternoon. Some east winds 5 to 10 miles an hour 70 the high in Mammoth low of about 47 degrees. Bump that up to about a 50% chance of some rain and thunderstorm activity on Wednesday for Mono County. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, just 62 the high in Mammoth, low of about 46 degrees. And for Thursday, mostly sunny skies, some northeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, 69 the high in Mammoth, low of about 46 degrees. For Bishop and the Owens Valley on Tuesday, by the afternoon, mostly cloudy conditions prevailing. Southwest winds also expected, especially in those more wind prone parts of the county. 10 to 20 miles an hour, 90 the high in Bishop, low of about 59 degrees. About a 60% chance of some rain and thunderstorms for the Owens Valley on Wednesday. Northwest winds 15 to 25 miles an hour, 86 the high in Bishop, low of about 56 degrees. And for Thursday, partly cloudy skies for the valley. Northwest winds 10 to 20 miles an hour by the afternoon. 88 the high in Bishop, low of about 58 degrees. So uh, we'll take any, way, any rain you want to bring us, Mother Nature. We want to bring you some information about a very talented young lady. Mammoth High School's Amanda Kirkaby was honored recently at the California State Capitol. Senator Tom Berryhill and Assemblyman Frank Bigelow honored Amanda Kirkaby and her family during a legislative session at the California State Capitol. Amanda Kirkaby was recognized for her selection as the 2015 CIF California Interscholastic Federation Athlete of the Year. Mammoth High School senior had a 4.25 GPA, ranked second in her class academically, and is a member, as we've showed you here on Sierra Wave TV, of the school's varsity Nordic skiing, also the track and field and volleyball teams. Amanda Kirkaby has received numerous academic, athletic, and extracurricular honors and recognitions throughout her high school career, and she is headed to, for, to Vermont to attend Middlebury College in the fall. Said Senator Barry Hill, it is a pleasure to introduce my, to my colleagues a homegrown superstar from the 8th Senate District. She is a credit to California, her community, family, and the young people of today. If Amanda is any indication of the future, we are in pretty good shape, end quote. Hey, since 1982, the CIF Scholarship Award identifies student athletes who excel in the classroom athletics and are strong contributors to their schools and communities. The winners of the CIF Scholarship were selected from a pool of 432 candidates representing over 1,500 CIF member schools statewide. Farmers Insurance Group sponsors that CIF competition. Many congratulations for a well-deserved honor for Mammoth High Schools. Amanda Kirkby. That's going to wrap up news and information for us here on Sierra Wave TV. Hey, you know we're part of Sierra Wave Media. You can hear our radio station streaming on our website, sierrawave.net. Have a great evening, everybody.